this video is about brake fencing and how to create brakes to split up my paddock when I do not know the block size or paddock size to start with. So first of all we have to measure the paddock size. We do this by pressing the menu key and going into the utility function. When we first go into the utility function we're in cursor mode. What this means is that we can move the cursor around and create points on screen as we move around by moving the cursor. So what I'm going to do is push the F2 key and go into track up mode which means it's going to create uh, points as I drive around. Now I've already got some points on screen I don't want so I'm going to push menu to clear all those and I'm in GPS manual mode. If I was in GPS automatic mode I would change it by pushing the menu button and going into GPS record and going to auto. Now I want to be in manual mode so I'm going to go back into manual mode and I'm now going to drive over next to the fence. So I drive over next to the fence, you can't see anything happening on screen but for the fact that I'm driving, so I'm now parked next to the fence. I now need to set my offset from the fence. So I go menu, offset, because I'm going to be driving, let's say, two meters from the fence. So I hit the tab key to move around to my distance, push F2 to bring up my keypad, across to 2 and F2, and tab down to OK. So I'm now entering, and I'll zoom in so you can see this happening. I'm in GPS manual mode, and I'm driving two meters from the fence, and I'm going to push the enter key. What's created a point, and as I start moving, you'll see that point jump two meters out to my right-hand side. So I'm driving down my fence, and as I come up to a corner, slow down, I push the enter key, Just zoom this out so you can see what's happening. So I'm driving around my fence, pushing the enter key, and I can push the enter key as often as I like. So I'm driving around my fence line. Now the reason I'm in manual mode is let's just suppose that I'm coming up to where I have to deviate from the fence. I push a mark, and then I turn to go around the outside of the obstruction. It might be a tree, it might be a water trough, or a drain back on the other side, line back up in my direction on the fence and push the enter key again. So it allows me to dodge around obstructions. So let's just presume the paddock moves to the, out this way, come to into the corner. Again, I'm coming up to an obstruction, so I push the enter key. Come in around, across the obstruction. Let's suppose it might be a drain. Across, back again to where the, I can join up with the fence. an enter mark. And as you can see, as I'm driving, the, my block size keeps on climbing. And I've come back into my corner where I'll stop. Push the enter key again. Now I want to save that. I've got a, a paddock of 9.3 hectares. So I push the menu key and I want to save that as an outline. And we'll make it, let's suppose, a black colour. And I don't want it filled. I'll put it in set 3 
and go OK. So I've now saved my block outline of 9.34 hectares. Let's just suppose I want to split that now into four equal sized blocks, which means each block's got to be just a little bit smaller than two hectares. First thing to do is to clear my existing outline of where I've driven. So I go menu, clear all, and there we are with our paddock outline. I now need to switch back into cursor mode, so I push F2 and change into cursor mode and I need to move away from having my 2 meter offset so I push menu offset tab background to my offset distance F2 change it to 0 meters F2 to get rid of my keypad OK and there is my paddock outline so remembering I now want to split this into 4 blocks so what I'm now going to do is zoom in a bit so I can just get a wee bit more accuracy. So let's suppose I'd start by putting a brake fence starting off this corner post just here. So I zoom over the top of that and push the enter key. And just like we saw happening before, except I'm not going to drive around this time, I'm just going to move my cursor. And remembering now that because that's disappearing under there, I'm just moving my cursor a bit so I can actually get my corner to move to where I can see it without having the numbers over the side. Push the enter key. Now remembering that I want to get my brake sizes about the right size but I don't have to get absolutely precise. So I'm moving my cursor to giving me my brock sizes that I want without being too exactly worried about it. So I'm aiming for about 1.9 or just over thereabouts in size. So I've gone a bit far, so I'll come back. That'll let me push enter. Here's a block of 1.9 hectares. Push menu. I want to save that as an outline. This time I'm going to colour it in. So we'll colour it in, let's suppose, uh, blue. And I want to set filled. And we'll also put that in set 3 and go OK. So there's my first uh, size break. Now I'm going to go menu to clear all that away. Move back across. I'll just zoom down a bit so that can zoom in so we can see what we're doing. So let's suppose we might start our next break from just here. Push the enter key. Come back across to where we're going to put our other break fence up. Push enter. Move the cursor over to where my other corner was. Push the enter button. And come across to my next corner. Now, depending on whether I want to put straight fences or whether I'm happy to put a little bit of a bend in it. down and say okay that's actually going to be pretty good. We might just bring my block out to about oh, let's say just there 1.9 hectares again push enter menu save the outline okay here's my second outline saved menu clear it all and I just repeat this process now get my other breaks that I want. So there we have it, there's our, our brakes all set up for our block, and when I hit the escape button, there's everything showing on screen for me to drive around now, putting my brake fences up 
along the blue lines.